side of my hair that I just had done. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> my name is Kit Burnham Ashman. I live in uh, rural Windsor, New York, on the side of a mountain looking, overlooking the Susquehanna. And what is it about Windsor that makes it like, like so Because of it's a beautiful for me it's it's a beautiful environment um, and I look out to a panorama that is equal to Italy and um, it's peace, peaceful it's serene I have gardens and I have a beautiful space downstairs that I can go in and out and work on my art if I feel like it I'm retired I'm retired with seven grandchildren retired seven yes. grandchildren the oldest one is 19. 19, 19 wow. yeah. Mm. What are you doing? <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm going to film these things for First Friday Review. Oh, like, that's so nice. I, I remember talking with you, um, I think, when I was sitting at the gallery one time. This is my show. Yeah. Yeah. So, so. yeah. so are these very subjective close-ups from the members of your own family? Or? Actually, these two have to do with my kids and grandkids at a, a Thanksgiving dinner where my grandkids Kids table and adults table. Well, we have, we put everybody together. We never separate the oh, kids. So one end and the other then? No, no, no. Oh, this, this is monopoly this, time. Yes. This one right here, I, my grandson is complaining because we haven't started playing board games yet because people are too busy talking and drinking still. And so he's saying, so when are we going to play board games? And then this is the board games. <laughs> Later on yes, and as you can see, um, at least one member of the group is not really into it. The one on the left, the, probably. Correct, correct. That's them. At <laughs> least one. At least one, exactly. <laughs> Maybe all of them. No, you can see yeah. the boy on the right, who's my grandson, who is totally in love with his, his cousin. And they, those three all grew up together from the time they were born and ran up and down our hills and thought each other lived there. So they found out later that nobody lived there except us. <laughs> oh, yes, sure. Sure. Okay. So, how long have you been in Windsor? How long have I been in Windsor? Uh, since 1980. I raised my kids there. I've been doing. Yes, he, he's a uh, dermatologist and has been in practice for probably 50, 40, 50 years. I'm re Not at all. Oh, you mean, it, is that some kind of uh, horrible rash? <laughs> Oh, he loves that. He loves what I do, and my model is really divine. I just, I, I really like her a lot. She's a, a wonderful model. Yes, and I did that on purpose. Um, my last show, I had pretty much recognizable portraits of kids and people in my life, including my kids and grandkids. This show is more generic. The, the, it's about the figure, and it's about. Um, the generic female. The universal like, form of female mm -hmm. pattern. Mm -hmm. And they may resemble someone you know, but it doesn't necessarily have to be anyone you know. questions that have little to do with my art. Mm -hmm. But it's okay, it's good. He's cute. Yeah, he's lovely. Did you want me to follow him? <laughs> Hi, how are you? Hi. 
I said, what you said? I said, welcome to Park Diner on the south side of Besides the Greek salad, what makes the Park Diner the best diner in Broome County? The view. The, the view, the cook. The food. <laughs> the food. The customer service. The waitresses. All that. Oh, you Because when we get into our clients, when we get into what our sanctuary is, we have the ability to enter into the Holy of Holies. Okay, Binghamton is a great city. I live someplace in Binghamton, I don't tell you where. And I love Binghamton and have everything what I need. Binghamton is great, and the Lord's great too, amen. There you go. Send your spirit in this place. Lord, listen to your children.
life's been pretty good. I, I focus on, my name's Jerome Green, and I focus on um, painting. Uh, I like to call it representational realism with an uh, impressionistic bent. Um, I paint all subject matter, not just one specific. I paint um, still life. I, I paint landscapes. I, I paint uh, wildlife. I like to put a lot of structures in my work. Um, I think that you're born an artist or not, and what you do with it is up to you. And I've been I've been lucky enough to to have an artistic ability and to develop it over the years. And uh, and I love what I do. It's a lot of fun. Yeah. Okay. If you, if you if came, came to the first Friday in April, you, you could have gotten Girl Scout cookies. <laughs> Hannah Kova. Things that I saw that I was interested in, I guess. But even the shotgun shells one was kind of influenced by Wayne Tabo's lipstick paintings. You, you ever see the Wayne Tabo lipsticks? Those poppies were kind of spiritual. I was out walking with my kids in my neighborhood, and it was like a bright, sunny day. That Pablo Kalia, you read, said you read that. You know the, the soul. Alchemist. Yeah, you know how he talks about the soul of the world or whatever? And, you, you know, if you're in tune, you can see the soul of the world. Well, I kind of was, like, in tune that day, and I happened to look over in this yard, and the ladies' poppies were there, and they were like, the sun was hitting them, and it was like they were alive. They were, like, moving moving like this, you know? There is a lot of life in this picture, yeah. Well, I went and I got my camera. I went home and got my camera and I you took get, about... You get real low and... In there I was laying on the ground. Yeah, you know, I can tell. But I did five poppies, five oil paintings, and I did a set of woodcuts, and I did two watercolors from that set of photographs, and everything sold. Those are the two I got left. Okay. But... That's where I got that poppy idea. Yes, the relationship with the earth is like, there is an individual who is shepherding the destiny of all souls on this planet. And all the souls that seek to know God come into relationship with this, the planetary shepherd. And like, that's a really important requisite like for us to come to know because it says in the Bible like, if Jesus doesn't know you on the day of the resurrection, if you weren't working with him while you're here on earth, then you know how can how can he say that he knows you? Yeah. You know that's that's an issue of survival. Mm -hmm. And these two are kind of about my children, and they're kind of plays on old master paintings too. This one is the bottom of the Sistine Madonna by. Uh, by Raphael, and the, the cherubs from that painting are really like famous, but the actual real painting is a Madonna painting, and the cherubs are only a tiny little piece in the bottom. And what happened was the lady that was modeling for the Madonna, her kids kept coming into the studio to watch the painting going on, and Raphael looked over and saw them watching, and he painted the, her children and the model's children as the cherubs along the bottom. But they're just a little piece in the composition, and the rest of it is like two saints and a Madonna. But so these are my children who often come in and watch me paint and stuff, and I've kind of played it on the Raphael thing because they're like my angels. Let us 
This one is the bottom of the Sistine Madonna by uh, by Raphael, and the the cherubs from that painting are really like famous. But the actual real painting is a Madonna painting, and the cherubs are only a tiny little piece in the bottom. And what happened was the lady that was modeling for the Madonna, her kids kept coming into the studio to watch the painting going on, and Raphael looked over and saw them watching and he painted it her children and the model's children as the cherubs along the bottom. <laughs> 